What do you do when a game is censored? What do you do when a game is censored? Make noise on the internet and now you're getting death threats. Rancid, reeking, ripe bilge water That son wants to be a daughter Tone down, gore, a bait and switch That's worthy of a pirate Up the smoke she rises Virtue signal woke capsizes Somehow no one realizes Sink into the abyss Normies, tourists, and gaslighters There's no bait but plenty biters Need that cloud so these igniters Burn and shall not be missed Sanitize where there was culture Eye sockets picked clean by vultures Neptune curse he tried and puncture Shrieky banshee no more Content captain Relay that order This breed's got mental disorders Best you're clear and mind your borders, not a drop for these whores. Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, comment, or correct me below, but I feel that culture is definitively exhausted by a certain cult, and I'm willing to wager even you can feel it now, too. This is the result of the extreme left and the PC crap and people worrying so much about offending other people. Mm -hmm. When you write a script and it goes into four or five different hands, committees, groups, here's our thought about this joke, well, that's the end of your comedy. What is the deal? It's always been my assertion that people living in reality who opt in, oftentimes financially, for mature experiences, shouldn't have their content diluted, you know, made less potent filtered through sensitivity fairies calling themselves consultants like the activists call themselves journalists the ones looking for a doctor's appointment because they need their fucking medication um do you mean this jerry seinfeld that was picking up a 17 year old with all his money and success fucking big man comedy guy he was 38 years old he was always that guy and obviously hasn't changed Oh, you mean heterosexual? That's why you hate you. Well, we know what you like. Ooh, we know what pisses you. Ooh, you know what I mean? That's what's upsetting you, isn't it? That's what's upsetting you? Ask your doctor if life is right for you. That's what's called a joke. Maybe it's hard to understand the difference between that and a death threat. I'll up the number, okay? 30K to anyone will make this dipshit disappear. And it's probably because, and I can't say the next part. I can't tell you why. Tell you why he. Grooms makes a petition. Petition passes 50,000 signatures. People just can't resist the impossible challenge of not making Stellar Blade about them. So they're retweeting other people, entertaining on their streams, and try to spin them as some sort of, what, what's their terminology? Coomer, Gooner, Chud, Incel, Virgin, Touchgrass. Yeah, it's just buzzwords. Okay. And it's funny because even the buzz feed comic guy ran and hid with his million subscribers because scrutiny for the stupid thing that no one does any research for, you know? And who can be expected to? But it seems these days, everyone just can't take it. We all need a little help sometimes. What are you filming yourself in your fucking car crying for? You get an ad revenue off of this or some shit. You have the luxury of living somewhere where you can afford uh, medication. Medication is available to you and provided for you. And that's something to cry over because uh, what, what, what is it? You're, getting, you're getting dead named or, you know, fuck me, right? And now you're, you're infesting the media with this sensitive you can't do that you can't say that the the academy's going well i'm gonna need this amount of diverse people in there and it doesn't matter if they're talented i guess right doesn't matter if anybody talented is working on this project holy shit waste that money right because it couldn't go anywhere better and then you're preaching to other people about what they're not doing enough of suck my balls motherfucker doesn't need to be eloquently articulated because I can say without saying how frustrated and more so exhausted everybody is with your bullshit. You understand that? 
Where do I begin to categorize the double standards that play in almost every scenario? A man makes a death threat and boy is he gonna get what's coming to him, but a girl makes a death threat? You know she's only one pickle tickling titty picture away from Twitch staff going, well, you know everybody makes mistakes. And contextually, I'm sure she didn't intend for it to come out a certain way. Oh, she's been hit with a ban, which is really a suspension, you know what I mean? As they insta-private their accounts instead of owning anything, must delete evidence, I'm being harassed buff activated. Real woman class skills a little too OP, especially if she can kite the enemies, can't take them on one by one, Jesus Christ. It is endlessly hilarious how many people who have absolutely nothing to say need to be involved in this cellar blade conversation and it feels like a vocal please don't forget me please what if, like, okay wait what uh, wait hello me me attention me attention now attention me needing a lot the truth of the matter is that we all have Stellar Blade fever and we want it to succeed. We want Shift Up to do well. We know the only thing keeping Stellar Blade from being the top rated game on PlayStation right now is the fact that most people playing it don't think to rate it. Some people need to call names and need to say whatever you're doing is not going to work. <laughs> it's not so much about reversing the censorship for me. It's not so much about even getting a response. The optics are what matters. The hundreds and hundreds of PlayStation Plus cancellations that I can clock as distinct in that they're definitely not someone just copying someone else's picture and resubmitting it, number well into the thousands. Oh, gamers will forget. Yeah, you're right, normies. But uh, what about the whales? And I guess these uncultured and ignorant tourists would know everything, even though they know nothing of gotchas and cultured big money mihoyo experiences that are probably going to end up tormenting their sorry ass with the jiggle physics that ignite this hypocalypse. Optics matter. <laughs> it will be my pleasure to show you. Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock, Mr. Force Behaviors himself is hiring more security? Why? Do the optics matter? To sum you people up, Dia mentioned how some asswipes were offended by Frisk in Undertale. Guess why? Because the character's skin is yellow and their eyes appear to be shut or, you know, not, not looking too open. You know, they can look at a character like this and make it about race. Straight out of the Sweet Baby Inc. Kim Belair book, Terrify Them. You know what I mean? That's what Jason Trier said. He said, I can't believe a studio looks like this. If I were in control, absolute control, Paru Kata, Adonai Aluheinu, and he smote the studio. He smote it thusly. This is about power for you people to flex and change something that honestly isn't bothering people, especially not the people paying, funding, looking for a good time. And this is where we really disagree. Some of us want to create, to own our craft, to relieve people. <laughs> not the way you guys like to relieve people. To make them laugh, not limit, restrain, censor, or diminish. You have nothing, so you seek to ruin what others enjoy and make them as miserable as you. So it's all the Cooper Gooder, stupid, toxic, incel, virgin, chud, need to touch grass. Women comes in and she's actually pretty. NPC overload, overload. Look how much Stellar Blade triggers them. Gaming and media is sensitive because pussies identify with the brain damaged journalists, publications, and mainstream media that cheerlead their asinine demands to make this escape entertainment that people are paying for more like an identity politics lecture. So instead of art, you know, that popular thing that people are into, we're getting a more safe, inoffensive, milk toast slop that is sure to be, if nothing else, forgettable. So when I could see the writing on the wall for things like 
the uncooked sushi squad. Nobody was cooking with that ass lick pussy queef of a game brought to you in part by Sweet Baby Inc. And they hate the white man and cis heteronormative behavior. I cast chin spell on that woman. But how can she really be an empowering, realistic woman for a modern audience unless she has disabilities, is a marginalized person, and is also masculine? Are you listening to yourself? All the media's poison. All the media. You should be paying us to, to consume this shit at this point. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about Stellar Blade. Have you seen the game? You're putting that out there? Because people are going to need to meet that expectation. This is the bar you're helping us rise on up. Stellar Blade doesn't need help getting things to rise. Getting things to grow. You're a virus. <laughs> Thank you, patrons. You know, I have sorted out whatever the hell was going on with the donation, so feel free to test it below. I won't know if it works unless you go down there and try something right now. We all want the same thing right now, though. It's for Stellar Blade to reach as many eyes as possible in the purest, uncensored form that the developer indicated was the vision. They boasted. This is how they marketed it. This is how it still appears in promotional material. How it exists in the demo. And most damning of all, how it remains on the unpatched physical version of the game. If you made it this far in this video, thank you. And I'm going to start making these less ranty and a little more fun, and I apologize. But... We needed to get here. Play older games. You know? Be vocal. However you feel. Just keep it civil. Resist the gaslighting. Observe and document any unhinged behavior. Laugh when people need to convince you. They don't care, right? <laughs> See through their messaging for what they are. Cries for attention. Drop your cup size below and keep being you. I tell Dia sometimes they whisper about how uh, I've the charisma of a cult leader. These are the obsessed entities that can't stand me, uh, but they're filled with this misguided, wannabe righteous fury coming at me with the passion of a time traveler that has to stop Hitler before things get worse. I'll remind detractors again that I'm only here because of what y'all ruined. I know y'all like that term. And if you don't learn when to shut your damn mouth, people like me will become the new consultants. And if you think it's unbearable, shut yourself in your car and cry for a TikTok video now. 